What's up guys, it's Brad from Ladder Protect here. In this video, I'm going to explain a very simple and effective technique to get more cinematic and moody lighting for your CG environment renders. The technique is simply the use of negative fill to create some shape to your scene. I'll explain this very quickly, but before we get started, I wanted to announce that we are having a 40% off December sale on all of our Blender Market products and add-ons, including City Builder 3D, Chaos, Cable Cam, and our add-on value pack as well. So feel free to use the discount code FilmFX for your 40% off this December. Anyway, Anyways guys, let's get started. Let's talk about negative fill. It should be no surprise that lighting is key to creating a specific feel and look for your visuals. Most of the time we try to do this by adding lights or emission planes in various parts of our scene to shape our renders and even create pools of light. We also use techniques such as sky environments or HDRIs to get an even more realistic look for our scene. One thing I haven't heard a lot of people talk about, however, is taking away light where you don't want it or using negative fill to bring down the ambient light coming from a particular direction in your scene. You see, negative fill is simply the process of using black planes or cards to take away ambient or bouncing light from a certain area. In live action cinematography, we often use large black solids or flags to do this and create shape on an actor's face for a close up. But this technique can also be used in 3D renders using black cards or planes. I use negative fill a lot in our new City Builder 3D industrial trailer. For example, in this nuclear power plant scene setup, I used HDRIs from HDRI Haven to light the scene in a very general way and then added a large black plane by the camera to cut the ambient light from behind it. By doing this, the light hitting from behind the nuclear power plant is much brighter compared to the ambient light from the HDRI behind the camera. This creates a soft backlit look that makes the scene much more moody, which is exactly what we are going for. This concept of using negative fill is very simple, but you can get a variety of looks and create shadows in different parts of your environments depending on the look you're going for. Anyways guys, that's it for this short quick tip video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.